Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and I've got another Vinegar Syndrome parcel in today I made another order with them so I just thought I'd go through what I've got in here these are not actually Vinegar Syndrome releases these are releases from their partner labels which Vinegar Syndrome really seem to be uh, doing a lot of at the moment so there's a lot of other companies that are going through their website and releasing some uh, really interesting looking movies a lot of these are shot on video a lot of shot on video trash but uh, I'm not really familiar with any of these so I'll go through them with you guys and you can let me know if you've seen them or let me know what you think so this first movie so I saw Leon from uh, Court, Court Flix Flix 24 talk about this and this looked like a really interesting movie and this is The Midnight Swim and this just looks like a really intriguing, kind of strange, dreamlike, almost like a th ethereal feeling film uh, about this sort of lake and I think like a, this ghostly goings on around the lake. So, yeah, really, uh, really interesting looking film. I'm very, uh, very keen to dip into this one and uh, and see what it's like. It's from about 2014, so relatively recent uh, in terms of uh, uh, these kind of releases. Um, and this is from a company called Yellow Veil Pictures, who I've never heard of before. So uh, that's a new company on me. So I'm interested to see what this release is like and uh, if it's any good. So I will give this one a watch soon. So when I get to my end of month video, I can tell you what I thought about it. Okay. Next up, I picked up Night Ripper. This is a shot on video slasher film from the 80s. And uh, it's really cool to see these uh, these kind of somewhat tacky shot on video films get these really nice lavish slip covers and releases. Uh, I really appreciate that from Vinegar Syndrome and these uh, these sub, sub companies. Um, it's nice that these movies, even though a lot of them are terrible, it's nice that they get a bit of recognition in uh, in the form of these uh, these fancy Blu-ray releases. So yeah, Night Ripper, another one I'm not too sure of. I uh, don't know much about this one. It looks cool. Night Ripper's a cool title. So we'll see what that one's like. Next up, I picked up Raw Nerve. Again, not one that I'm familiar with, but that cover drew me in. Thought that was pretty cool. I think this is another kind of like murder slasher type film. Pretty good artwork there on the back. Uh, so yeah, I think, uh, I don't know if this is shot on video. I think it's pretty low budget stuff from the 80s. That's the cover on the inside. So yeah, raw nerve. Next up is another shot on video. Very low budget one, I believe. Uh, this is Red Lips which is a, a vampire type movie. Uh, this woman is a vampire and I think she's roaming like the streets of California or somewhere like that. And she meets this other woman that sort of falls for her uh, vampiric charms and they both go around uh, hanging out as vampires, draining people's blood, things like that. Uh, again, it looks uh, pretty cool. Again, another nice, another nice release of a of a cheap shot on video film. That's uh, the inside cover there. So yeah, again, this one looks pretty fun. Looks pretty fun. Uh, cool vampire film. And then I picked up uh, Video Murders. This looks like a pretty sort of cheesy, scuzzy slasher film from the 80s. Uh, this guy uh, going around killing people off. Uh, so yeah, again, pretty pretty low budget stuff. Uh, the cover's the same on that one, uh, but yeah, I'm pretty interested to uh, check that one out. I thought the title was kind of interesting, uh, video murders. So uh, yeah, we'll see what this one's like. Not heard great things about this one, but then most of these films don't don't get the best reviews anyway. And then the last one I picked up uh, is one that I am aware of. I might have even seen the first one many years ago. And this is Video Violence. 
So this is Video Violence 1 and 2. Uh, these are really low budget shot on video films about these sort of crazy townspeople that torture and kill people and sort of film it all um, for their delight. And I think they make like videotapes of it and, and things like that. So if I have seen it, I can't remember it. But we'll uh, we'll see what it's like. Pretty cool slip cover in there that wrap around. That's pretty awesome. And then you get the uh, the Blu-ray inside for video violence. I certainly recognise that artwork anyway. So yeah, I'd be interested to check out video violence one and two and see what they like. So that's everything I got, guys. Oh gosh, sorry, it's so warm here tonight in the UK. Um, but yeah, I just thought some pretty interesting, obscure, uh, alternative horror movies there. So let me know if you've seen any of these, because I'd be really interested to uh, get your opinions. And I'll check them out soon and uh, let you know what I think at the end of the month. So thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.